What's up, Reefers? Welcome to Alex Poor Corals. This is Alex Wilson, and this is my video log where you can learn from my mistakes, so come check it out. Alright, today, so what do I got here today for you? This is uh, a Bell Howell. This is what they call an ultrasonic pest repellent. And so the reason I'm mentioning this is that. I, you know, this is like for, to repel insects, like I had a whole bunch of insects right here in my living room and everything, and so I put these in there, you know, as well as my kitchen that's not that far away as well, and so, you know, they're anti, supposedly, it's, you know, it kills cockroaches, ants, and uh, roaches, and uh, spiders, and all kinds of insects, right? So, you know, my question was, th is this is regarding whether the copepod population, whether it affects, you know, my um, copepods and other crustaceans or even the fish in the reef aquarium. So let's check it out because I put that in there, you know, and, I, and it crossed my, my brain, I, you know, I thought, um, you know, it, um, it might affect them, it might not, so I'm going to put them in there, you know, and see what happens. So, I connected it, and right here in my living room, and, you know, sure enough, the, the yellow tang was, was just fine. I didn't see, you know, as far as I could tell, his behavior was normal, and as well as the... As the uh, copepods, like in this eight, in this uh, twenty-gallon um, quarantine right here. Yeah, I saw them moving around, and yeah, you know there was lots of them in there. So I thought, well, it's it's surely okay. You know, it's probably you know going through the water and then through the and under the rocks and everything. It probably doesn't affect them, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And so now that I have a, a dinoflagellate problem. You know, it dawned on me, well, what's eating the dinoflagellates? That's the copepods. And so, you know, what's, you know, it's a good idea to check on the copepod population to see, you know, how they're doing. And, and uh, so, you know, and it's also possible that the adults are fine and yet the ultrasonic uh, pest repellent um, killed or could kill, you know, them, the copepods in their different stages. You know, maybe it just killed can kill them, you know, in their uh, microscopic form. So it's definitely an unknown, and based on the fact that it's an unknown, you want to eliminate as many unknowns as possible, such as this, you know, reef aquarium, that I went ahead, you know, yeah, I went ahead and I ran them, you know, for probably about a month or, or two, I would say, so I'm not exactly sure. But now it's dawned on me, you know, that it's not a good idea. And if you know, if you if you have them in your house, to uh, not use them or to investigate this, you know, properly, and you not use them if you if you can't, you know, at least not anywhere, you know, anywhere near the reef aquarium because uh, just it's supposed to kill the insects, and you know the the crustaceans are uh, close relatives, you know, they evolved from crustaceans, you know, the copepod types of, of uh, uh, in, in the aquarium therefore you know why take the risk and so on this one you know I've seen there are still copepods I can see them here on the rocks here and there but maybe not as many as, as there were before but I'm not sure but it's something like that you know something to keep an eye on and uh, you know so this one right here definitely still have all kinds of the 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 dinoflagellate nightmare here and i'm not sure if it's toxic either but that got it seems to be though but that got me thinking though is that if it's if it's toxic to the corals then possibly it could be toxic to the to the copepods i mean it's possible that this is a, a type of strain that it is in fact toxic to the copepods and maybe they eat them and they died or they just don't eat them so that's why it grows so much so that's just one quick theory guys out there you know uh, I'm just throwing out there and so um, yeah so that's it let's check out the main display over here and see what I'm talking about I got these uh, 
dinoflagellates absolutely everywhere over here. So still netting like crazy, putting all over the gravel. So just waiting for it to burn itself out because doing the lower lighting intensity it did work but you know I lost one clam in the process and um, so the mainly the clams and the one Acropora that they definitely need the brighter light so that it's not a long-term solution for me and see here we go the yellow dung is in fact eating the the dinoflagellate slime nightmare there we there he is I got it on, on film if you've seen my previous videos as well so it's always good to get him on you but yet see he just cruises around and definitely eats seems especially like the 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 brown uh really brown uh almost like um you know the big almost looks like the the, the hairy or slimy parts that are coming off this super super dark brown seems to prefer that right yellow tang it's good stuff see come on let's show us everybody's watching let's see so you might say, oh, he's eating just something else off the rock, but I could really, really see him off of this uh, gravel up here close in the front. So he's eating the coral, oh my God. No, he's, he's, he's eating the, he's eating the dinos. Dino eating yellow tank, folks. All right, there it is. I got dino. Look, it's covering all over my, yeah, uh, posse little polar right here. Luckily, I noticed that it is not, doesn't seem to affect it that much. I brush it off of their cool. Same thing as the, the clams. It just physically just knock it off and they would seem okay to it. So Alright Yota, you're gonna eat some eat some dinos for us. One, two, three, go. Yep, there he is, he's eating it. Except off the rock, you could probably can't really tell, but anyway. Definitely eats a little bit of it. I don't know if it's if he's gonna if it's really toxic dinos, he's gonna die from it or not. See look, he's you got it hanging out of your mouth. Here's a bunch over here on oh, the elegance coral there, so not good there, but so so that got me thinking though too here is that as far as the the dinos as far as my copepods, I'm in mean here. You know, I had so many copepods in here. If you see my previous videos, you know, I've, they were I had them where they were completely attacking well and and almost bothering the clams to such an extent you know that they were always just just closing up a little bit all around it and they could I could pick up a clam you know and, I, and I'd have like like 50 copepods just in my hand you know they just kind of fall off of the shell everywhere so certainly had a whole bunch of them that's why I got the two mandarins in here so I definitely um I don't know if that, uh, you know, it certainly didn't help if, if, you know, if the mandarins are in here eating a whole bunch of the copepods and the copepods were in fact, they do in fact eat the dinos, then it's definitely not a good thing as far as that concerned. And, um, but, but so, you know, I haven't seen them, haven't seen, <laughs> so I don't know if a population crashed or I'm gonna have to get some. I'm gonna take out a rock here. I'll let you guys know tomorrow, but take out a rock and see if I can uh, how many copepods fall out off of them. But definitely don't see them just crawling around the rocks anywhere. Don't see them through the crushed coral though that I've been stirring up the gravel real good every day. So that's probably one contributing reason. Right, Mandarin? That you got the Mandarin? He's over here eating all the copepods away that are trying to eat the dino flatulates. Oh my God! What are we gonna do over here? But Good thing he's uh, a nice pretty mandarin, otherwise otherwise we would have to trade him for some corals. But that's what's a good idea about having the refugium as well, you know, as an area down there for the copepods to live, even though down there I do have one, the yellow tang. But that's the whole idea. And I have that area, I also have the area under the protein skimmer, more crushed coral, I still have the area that's where my uh, you know where my pump is at as well as the as the um, float valve so I have crushed coral in there as well and so you know there's you know, they should be able to um, come up through the the pump and, and you know through the the piping here 
even though some of them will die, so some should make it. You know, in my previous, uh, my, you know, my very first aquarium that I had, uh, probably, I don't know, you know, it was like back in the, in the 1994 or so, that um, I had a, an algal turf scrubber and it was up on top of my aquarium. And so that definitely worked really well for creating a super large copepod population that would constantly be dripping in through the because it was above the aquarium right and it would gravity drain just back down and so it would just have a, an, an exit pipe and at that time it was the same thing I mean I had a yellow tang and I also had a mandarin and my big it was super fattest mandarin ever I thought everybody had the super big fat mandarins like that and the mandarin Right, Mandarin, let's see, I had one of your wild ancestors years ago and he was up over here and he would just go over there and like wait by the, by the algal, by the turf scrubber and just waiting for the copal pods to come, to come dripping out. And so we'd just there and wait for them and eat them as they come out the pipe. <laughs> so, and these guys, you know, these are the biota captive bred. Uh, mandarin so gotta love them and they will eat just about anything you know the mice shrimp if they can just you know turn off the pup and they'll just hit it find it off of the the, the crush off of the gravel or off of the off of the glass or whatever and they might even eat flake food right yellow tank they might even eat flake food I don't know so we'll see but they seem I hope they don't run out of copepaw food in here but they look pretty well fed so far. So I got it. that's a quick update, but check on the next one to see what's going on. What has died and these dinos have got to disappear eventually. Alright guys, happy reefing. Bye.